if Call of Duty isn't launching on your PC due to secure boot errors, you need to check and adjust some settings on your PC. This usually involves changing your settings in the BIOS menu, which can be a little daunting. In this video, we'll show you a step-by-step -step guide for how to do it. Secure Boot is a setting that checks for malicious programs that might load before your operating system does. Enabling this setting makes your computer safer against malicious software, and Activision is likely requiring this in an attempt to limit the scope of potential cheaters and exploiters running software to cheat the game. First, open the system information window by typing msinfo32 into the start menu. Look for Secure Boot State. It needs to be set to on for Battlefield 6 to work. Next, check BIOS mode. It must be set to UEFI. If BIOS mode is not UEFI, this is a limitation from your PC or motherboard manufacturer and can't be fixed without their help. If the BIOS mode is UEFI and the secure boot is off, move to step two. Now type in disk management into the start menu and run it. Find the disk where Windows is installed, usually labeled C. Right click the disk number on the left of the Windows C drive in the lower graphics menu, which is likely to be disk 0, and open properties, then go to the volumes tab. Look at the partition style. It must be GPT. If it is, you can skip to step 4. If it's not, continue on to step 3. If your disk is not GPT, you'll need to convert it. To convert your disk from MBR to GPT, open command prompt as administrator. Run the following commands to validate your disk. mbr2gpt space forward slash validate space forward slash disk colon disk drive letter here space forward slash allow full OS. You need to replace the disk drive number with the number for the hard drive where Windows is installed. Again, this is usually the number zero. If validation passes, you can run the conversion command. This is the exact same commands as before, but then for the longer command, you need to replace the slash validate command for slash convert. Once the conversion is complete, go back to step two to confirm the partition style is now GPT. With all of that done, finally, you can restart your PC to enter the BIOS setup. You usually do this by pressing the F12 or F2 or delete keys on your keyboard while your computer is booting up before you see the Windows login screen. Which key you press is different depending on your computer, so just make sure you're reading the menu and just, if all else fails, press all of them and see if this menu comes up. BIOS menus vary by manufacturer, but you'll generally find Secure Boot under Advanced or Security Settings. Once you find it, enable Secure Boot. Underneath this, it may also say Active or Not Active. Secure Boot needs to be both enabled and active to work. If you are unable to change it to both enabled and active, look for an option that says restore factory keys or something similar depending on your motherboard. Choosing to restore the factory keys will reboot you back into the BIOS and should make it so that you are now able to set secure boot to enabled and have it appear as active as well. Now that it's been enabled, save your settings and exit the BIOS. When you return to Windows, Call of Duty should launch without secure boot issues. If problems do persist though, contact your motherboard or PC manufacturer for additional help. That's all you need to know for enabling Secure Boot for Call of Duty on PC. But be sure to check out our wiki for tips on the single player, multiplayer, zombies and end game modes. For all other things Call of Duty, gaming and more, stick with IGN.